Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at a rare book that was translated from Russian to English. It is called Magnetism of Elementary Particles. It's by S. V. Vonsovsky. It was published by Mir Publishers Moscow. This is an X library or EX library copy of the book, as you can see here. And you can you see here it says Santa Clara University. Uh, here it talks a little bit about the publishers. Mere publishers of Moscow publish Soviet, Soviet scientific and technical literature in 11 languages. English, German, French, Italian, Spanish, Czech, Serbo-Croat, Slovak, Hungarian, Mongolian, and Arabic. Titles include textbooks for higher technical schools, literature on the natural sciences and medicine, including textbooks for medical schools and schools for nurses, popular science, and science fiction. The contributors to Mir Publishers list are the leading Soviet scientists and engineers in all fields of science and technology and include more than 40 members and corresponding members of the USSR Academy of Sciences. It says here, skilled translators provide a high standard of translation from the original Russian. Many of the titles already issued by Mir Publishers have been adopted as textbooks and manuals at educational establishments in France, Cuba, Egypt, India, and many other countries. And yeah, they're exported. And they can be purchased. So let's open this book up. So you can see here. Wow. There's the library, uh, Oradre Library, University of Santa Clara, Santa Clara, California. Translated from the Russian by O.A. Germo Genova. First published, 1975, revised from the 1973 Russian edition. So give it a whiff here. Ah, nice. There's a little quote here. Let's, let's take a look at this, see what it says. It may well be that these electrons are worlds just like our very own, with kings and scholars, arts and armies, and memories of ages flown, and atoms, cosmic systems spinning around a central spinning sphere, where things are just like ours but smaller, or nothing like what we have here. Hmm. So that is a quote at the beginning of the book. Here's the preface. The universal character of magnetism makes it an interesting object of study in investigating the most diversified natural phenomena from elementary particles. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. From elementary particles to boundless expanses of space. It is also important that magnetic properties are interesting not only in themselves, as a striking natural phenomenon, but also because they are closely related, related to other physical characteristics of matter. Cool. And then here are the contents. Let's take a look at the contents so you can see what it actually contains, right? It's a lot of stuff in this book. So spin, a magnetic moment of the electron, magnetism of the atomic electron shell, Magnetism of nucleons, so this is pretty cool. And then over here we have a couple more topics. And there we are. Uh, I just have to give it a, a little whiff here, just, oh, wow, wow. So this is where it starts. Spin, magnetic moment of the electron. Let's just read a few sentences here so you can see how it works. The electron, which was discovered at the end of the 19th century, is the most studied elementary particle among those known at present. For a long time, it was believed that the basic characteristics of this particle are its electric charge and mass, while the magnetic properties manifest themselves only in the motion of electrons in the orbits of atoms and molecules and conductors and in cathode rays. However, studies of the line optical spectra of atoms reveal that the spectral lines have a fine structure. And then it goes on and on. You can see here, it actually has diagrams and stuff in the book, which is pretty cool, especially for like an older book like this. You know, this is from the early 70s. Um, and this basically sat in a library right here, right here, right here. Um, for a long time, probably since since the seventies, right? It probably sat there. I wonder if anyone even let's see, is there is there a nameplate like a not a nameplate up? Yeah, you know the thing where the library card goes. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look, 
I don't think anyone ever checked it out. It was never checked out. No one ever... Magnetism of elementary particles. Apparently, um, no one needed to know this information. What's this say? Printed, printed in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Wow. So, uh, um, no longer exists, right? The uh, Soviet Union um, is... is does, does not exist anymore. But this is a book from, from that era. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. What's it say here? Santa Clara University Library. There's a lot of interesting um, diagrams and things in here. So yeah, just a, a, a cool book. Thought I'd make this video to show it to you. Um, yeah. If you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on my website, mathswitcher.com. Um, and I'll try to leave a link in the description of this video to this book if I can find a copy. Take care.